Hello everyone! Welcome to my stream! Yay! I am in my classroom room again and I'm just trying to figure out how to do everything. Uh, I bought a new mic. I don't know if you can hear me alright, but I hope you can. Today uh, we're gonna make uh, the first patterns uh, for our cosplay because we're cosplaying Venti from Genshin Impact and today we're gonna work on the shorts that he wears so yeah, that's uh, mostly it I uh, hope it isn't too far away but I'll see that everything <laughs> that everything is gonna go right today. I'm still figuring out where to put my new mic, as you can see on the screen. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'll, most of it I will put in Dutch, because it's a little bit easier for me to understand what <laughs> I've written down. So if you have any questions on what I write down, it will mostly be numbers, but you can always ask. Um, but yes, moving in the Yes, um, I also have my trusty school books with me. This uh, It's also in Dutch. This is um, what I got. 
I've put them out of my uh, books for now because it's a little bit easier so that I don't have to work around <laughs> with a really big map because I got a few of them. This is my own, but these are my uh, school books. Basically, they're pretty thick as you can see, and yeah, this is where I work with at school. But they're pretty big, and it's just a bit annoying to have them lying around when you're working. So I've got all the important papers that I need to draw the whole pattern. You see, I've got a little reference here. This is what the basic outlines are going to look like. But yeah, I just want this with me. Also in Dutch, because That's what language uh, we get taught in at school. But let's put the numbers down. I'm gonna put the, all the measurements down here. That are uh, the normal numbers. And then uh, I got a few other measurements. It's half of the measurements, one fourth, and for a few one, eighth of the measurement that I got so let's do that because then it's a little bit easier to do all the thing because I need to do a few more things on the paper that I have my measurements on but other than that we can uh, begin but let's uh, do this things first. I don't think I need these. Okay. Oh, got my razor. This is, this is for another thing that I uh, make patterns for is that we have one eighth of the measurement, but <laughs> I don't think we're gonna need those today. But that's all right. Um, no, it's gonna be a hundred. That's fifteen. One fourth is uh, twenty-five, I believe. And then the this is gonna be that was thirty-seven. I'm writing down very important stuff that's just really handy to have uh, on both pieces of paper because whenever I need to see what I did later on I can always see all the measurements I've used on the pattern paper itself it's just a really easy thing to keep track of all the numbers and things I've used 
in school some of them I won't write down because we are going to do a lot of math uh, in this uh, <laughs> in this stream because uh, for pattern making uh, you're going to use all your measure measurements but also a lot of uh, math basically because you need to calculate uh, a lot of numbers to make the whole pattern and, uh, you really need to use your brain so i hope my brain's gonna work with me today because <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to make all of this when your brain's not working with you it's, uh, it's a bit annoying <laughs> but i can work with it today that's 31. This one is 5. And this one is 5. Okay. Then. Say later. This and then I need to calculate a few things. I need to write a few things down. Sorry if I'm always down here. But the important paper is because this is one that I'm gonna keep with me um, okay so the first thing I'm gonna calculate is um, seven, Okay, I'm gonna write a few things down because um, my brain's already cracking. It's math is hard. I'm, I'm not the best in it, but luckily, it's a, a bit easy to follow. Not too difficult. Seven point four. right yay we did it right applause for myself nine four seven point four close for me uh, forty seven point five because that one little um thing isn't gonna make much of a difference also if I did that right Yeah. Mm -hmm. It 
this for a bit. Yeah. I'll see later. But yeah, um, now we got all the numbers. I mean that's alright. It's close to the number that I got. So that's uh, good enough. And the number two. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be 79. And then the N. No. It's gonna be. 56. Yeah. Um, and that's all I believe. Yeah. Okay, so now we got all the measurements on the left side. I can put this one away but I'll keep it close just in case a bit of water because hydration is good for you but yeah we're gonna start off drawing a really big line from um, I would say 15 to 10 from the left corner. gonna draw uh, the wool leg of uh, the part uh, the trousers first and then when we're completely done with the base of the shoe uh, of the trousers pants whatever you want to call it uh, only then are we gonna um, uh, interpret our <laughs> own <sighs> model I guess you could, you could say because uh, we're gonna make shorts, not um, the whole long pants. I don't know which one I need to say because <laughs> they're both <laughs> for the same thing. Uh, why are there two different words for the same thing? But all right. But yeah, uh, that's what we're gonna do. Let's draw. Our lamb with our lamb. English to be difficult. Um, least 110 centimeters long. I'm gonna measure it. So there I know it's long enough for my legs. No, it's not. Uh, um, I guess we could move it a little bit over here. Um, 
a bit iffy <laughs> that I'm gonna make a pattern for pants but we're only gonna use the top part of it at the end but it's just how we do I'm gonna clean that up later because it's annoying to fix now. Right, I don't know. It's a bit. <laughs> but let's measure this one. I think this one is pretty a lot better. Yeah, it's 200. I can make it a little longer on both sides. This one should be long enough, and then we're gonna flip it again. <laughs> That's uh, a bit annoying, but luckily I've got a really big desk, so it's doable. <laughs> I keep losing my things because uh, I lose this one also but I've got a bigger one somewhere but I can't remember where I put it uh, I'm gonna look really quick in my other room so I'll be right back small and I just grab the snack. Yes. Let's make this. Woo. I'm really really excited to work on this because it's uh, been a while since I've made some patterns. I, I mostly did them for school and uh, I normally don't really make them for myself because I don't really have the time or I don't really know what to make for myself but we are going to make this I'm really excited about it uh, but let's start NDB is Zithoghten that is going to be 26 I'm still small from one hand. Here, no. Oh. Could have put it a little bit lower. So this is gonna be point A over here. That's the top. I'm gonna measure again so that I know this point all the way down I've got enough. Yeah, 
I got enough. Because oh, the most annoying thing is that when you start on your pattern and then you drawn all a lot of things already and then you realize it's not long enough or you need to the top part isn't uh, good enough that I also need to check if that's doable. Oh yeah, I forgot. Fuck. <laughs> I am gonna draw the line again because I'm gonna work over here so I need to move it a little bit but luckily we've got all this space anyway. Hey Shadow, hi! How are you? Oh nice, we got back from the town. How was the trip? Was it fun? I hope you can hear me alright. Got the new mic and I'm not sure if I place it correct. <laughs> There's cows everywhere. Yeah. That, and at most towns here you've just got a ton of cows. I hope it was fun, your, your little trip and uh, a little bit of chaos over here. I mean, as you can already see, my background is full of uh, stuff that I still need to. I, I still need to clean it up. But yeah, I hope it was fun your trip. It was. I got a new backpack. Oh, nice. Got a new backpack, nice. Is, is it for uh, a new one for school or just for regular use? Oh, conventions, nice. Uh, I I also actually need to buy a, a better bag for that. So. What kind of backpack is it? Is it a, a smaller one like uh, the one that I have that I always uh, bring with me? Or is it a little bigger than that one? Or even smaller? <laughs> I'm curious how it looks like. Okay, yes, we, we can do that. I, uh, I'll be streaming for a little while because I hope to finish uh, at least the base of it. And uh, if I could already draw on the model, because I think I'll stop at uh, 5 pm uh, CST time. I think that's uh, long enough for today. So we can uh, grab that up unless you need to eat. Oh no, I just thought to say, because I didn't really put any time in until I would, you know, stop streaming. So I just thought to say, so you know. But yeah, exciting. to see if uh, I got enough paper and I do luckily otherwise you would have a really weird little piece of paper <laughs> taped on it because all I have I'm really bad at knowing how much paper I need to use for my patterns so mostly for school and stuff like that I've got a really big piece of paper <laughs> And I feel like, oh, that will be enough, you know, <laughs> but no, 
and I'll have a little piece of paper put on either the top or the bottom of the paper <laughs> and it always looks kind of funny but yeah this time I'm sure I've got enough so yeah <laughs> I'm really excited gonna be so much fun uh, I'll really set it no, I'll release it now because I drew two lines that one wasn't long enough and the other one I forgot that uh, at the left corner I'd be um, I would need a bit more space for patterns so yeah the struggles But we got a lot of paper because I guess most of the time we put it more on the left but for this pattern you can actually also put it in the middle of your paper because it doesn't really matter as long as you've got enough, enough length and enough space on either side of it. And I did not put this back yet. Mm. I hope I'm not being too loud. But yeah. Mm. We're getting there. Oh, I hope everything is seeable. I know my lights make it look like there are stripes in here. It looks kind of funny. But yeah. I hope this setup is alright. I uh, had a little bit of trouble with the cameras because I was uh, I could put it on the on my right side because of the light coming in that way. But then I'd be drawing over here and the camera would be over there, so it would be really difficult to see what I'm doing. So I hope it's alright. And I hope you can hear me alright, because, well, I don't know, I talk a lot so it's a bit important to know. Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> yes, my brain just did a fart. <laughs> it was like, no, stop thinking. Pencil. Yeah. I think I'll put it over here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is just a, a sort of a weight to know that it won't slide down easily. But yeah. Let's start actually drawing this <laughs> yes because we got point a and the point b now yeah we're getting really really far already so let's see because how many hours like three i believe yeah three so let's see how far we can get in three hours yeah no. I'll try my best to be uh, fast because it's really good to see for me on how fast I can do my stuff because I'm still really nervous about my exams. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna switch it again. Oh yes, I'll take a look at that real quick. I'm gonna look at the message. Hmm. Why you do this to me? Well, wounds. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why it's saying that. Uh -oh. Let's take a little look. I mean, what is it saying now? Oh. Is it still being weird? Because <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing though, that it says that. Hmm. I hope it's changed now because I'm not. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but I hope it's alright now. Uh, if not, um, could you look into it, Shadow? Yes. You're okay with that, of course. And I, no, I forgot to look in it. Uh, I've got to look uh, at it again because my scattered brain just forget things really easily. <laughs> so thank you for looking into it. Thank you very much. general points that A, B, C, or C, D and E. It's a bit hard to see, but trust me, there is something there.
see. But yes, there are lines here. I'll, um, when the pattern is done eventually, I'll also color code it. I'll basically make the pattern blue so that I know the outlines and stuff. But that's, and we'll only do that until we're done with the, with drawing in the model. Yeah. Um. again my wound is stemming just putting away stuff where I can where I still can uh, it's a uh, really messy I can say it it's a uh, yeah <laughs> welcome to the chaos of my crafting room It's a real chaos. That's eight. Um, um, and the one goes off. Don't need that one anymore because we're going to use our trusty. Mine's just really not working with me today. It's dead. Hope uh, it works. For yes, great. Woo, we found the problem. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, so that's over there. Got it. Now we know. The more you know. <laughs> but yes, let's uh, continue. Yes, I need to finish this because I would like to finish it this uh, weekend if it's possible. Because then next week on Saturday, I believe, I can uh, draw over all the patterns and then begin on making uh, the mock up. If I say that correctly, because with pronouncing most English words yet. Well, a few of them are just really hard to pronounce for me. And I don't know if that has to do with uh, my accent, but it's okay. 
Uh, where was I hanging? <laughs> okay, I think maybe one below. I'm sorry if you can't see here. Yeah, I'll move it down a little bit. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Basically. Still figuring out how to best do this. <laughs> Although it's pretty hard because you can't really see all the lines, which is still annoying me. <laughs> I don't know if that's because of my lighting or my camera just doesn't pick it up. <laughs> I mean, it's pencil on white paper, so it's understandable. Yeah, then when it's all we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some lines that are, how do you say that? Um, well, they're uh, at a perfect 90 degrees angle from this line ones don't need to be all too big but just big enough so that I can use them. that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. Take a little bit more, I believe. Still not all the best, but you can see the lines a little bit. It looks good to me. So yeah, let's continue. Um, Luckily we've got a calculator, because oh, if I would have done this all in my head, I uh, wouldn't be able to do it basically. It would not have worked today. <laughs> I completely forgot to do that. <laughs> this one. F. <laughs> F's in the chat. Yep. That's the F, because we're going to work over here now. Mm. 
I'll see, I'll see how I'm gonna do this. But let's do ma ma myth first. It's also difficult. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Words don't do today. It's just gibberish. Um, but yeah. Okay, and one fourth. But, um, doesn't really matter how big these lines are, it's just as long as they're long enough. Because like the reference that I have, the lines are also sticking out. It's just it's not really that much of a problem. But yes. This point over here will be G2. Yeah, and this is gonna be F1. And this is gonna be B1. Yes. Woo! I can see it a little bit. Nice. And then from F1 to F2, it's one tenth. Okay, so oh no, just So now we're gonna measure from F to F2.
The time is 3 o'clock p.m. Things left on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to sound jump scare. Yes, I, I hope the ruffling of the paper isn't too loud. If it is, please say. <laughs> oh, I love off. Yeah. I still don't know how to turn that off. I keep saying it every stream, but I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Like, and I tried looking it up, but I, even in English or in Dutch, none of them knew what the fuck is going on. Uh, anyway, we drew that line. Yes. Then we need to also do those. This is going to be D1 over here and then this is going to be D1 and that's going to be E1 all the way down here. <sighs> yes. So very very interesting how to control all of this while still keeping it relatively on screen. <laughs> it's all... I mean, if I would make it a normal pattern at school, I would also be moving it around a lot. It's just that I'm like more conscious of the paper sounding like really, really loud because of the, my mic is over there. <laughs> I mean, I could also just move it a little bit over here, but I don't know if it'll still pick up everything that I'm saying but we'll see I'm figuring it out and it's a lot of fun I, uh, I do really like it um, so this one this one doesn't have a name okay then Got rid of all the leftovers when you erase uh, things on paper. I don't know the word for it actually, but that's alright. This one is D1 to D3. Uh, um, okay, so that is 8.25. That's D, uh, D3. But then it's the same on this side for D uh, two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm to work with it. Okay, I'll be working over here, just down here a little. But then I'm gonna move it all again. Maybe I'll put the microphone here a little bit. Sorry if it's still really, really loud. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Weird pain in my leg. Ooh. It's not fun. Um, but yeah, that's uh, our first um, page done. Basically, drew this of them in real size. Now, we're gonna continue. Because after this will be drawing uh, this, so it will uh, it's gonna look like this with a lot more detail and a lot and a lot more math. It's uh, it's gonna be interesting. And let's see if my brain wants to work today. <laughs> so, last few days it's uh, uh it's been all over the place So this point over here is going to be B2. Just you can make uh, better lines if your uh, pencil is always uh, the right amount of sharp. Because it's no fun 
when uh, you're working and all your lines are getting really thick because then the accuracy of your patterns will be uh, determined by that and you know the smallest amount of centimeters are really really important because it can mess up your patterns for B1 to B4 it's gonna be Oh yeah. So the two point twenty five is gonna be also pretty rough in here. Mm. Twenty five, this is gonna be B four. And then do that. from G2 to D3 Oh yeah Okay So Gonna G3 over here And then Now we're gonna go line. This is will be the uh, how do you say it in English? The mid front section. So this will be uh, yeah in the front and center line basically. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm still gonna figure out how to say that word. <laughs> Because in Dutch it's uh, meter four, but I don't know the right pronunciation of it in English. And then we're gonna. Here comes my really great drawing skills in really handy, because I need to make a round. Thingy. And I can draw that perfectly without using the help of anything. And that's uh, I'm really happy about that. I can just draw all of these things really nicely without using a uh, other word for it. But they're basically, I can show you guys this. I have. <laughs> my school map over here. It's a, a chunky boy. But they're basically uh, this. This is what you use to make uh, roundings really nicely. But whenever I got these from school, I never actually used them properly because I don't know. I could never find the right place to make it nice and neat. And if I draw it by hand without using this it would also always turn out not more nicely so I never actually used them <laughs> but it's something that I paid with my own money for so yeah I got them now I guess but what's it's with more things that I at school said I needed but I don't actually use all that often so yeah it's a uh, Table where all my stuff that I'm not using right now because, yeah, we're organized. <laughs> yeah, and let's continue because we're pretty far already. There's gonna be Oh yeah, I need to calculate. 
update that. a few things over right here because I think I forgot a few things um. Okay, so um, So for me, what would it be? Um, so. um, oh, did I not make that? Um, I'll see later. We'll keep this with one with me, but it's just that I remember all things, and I'm like, um, but actually, it's a uh, difference. Mm. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a really long time since I've drawn this kind of pattern, so it's like, uh, what do I remember and what do I not remember? Okay, so I'll do one point five. You know, I just love it too. So twenty one. That's uh, all right. And um, yeah, go from this one to this. This will be G4. They are from G5.
Mm. I'm, I'm reading some things, by the way. So just know why I'm quiet. <laughs> uh, it's really fun making patterns, but it involves a lot, and I mean a lot of reading. <laughs> Nicely rounded. Like something like this. And then over here, we're gonna put the Suzum. I don't know the English word for that. I just, uh, I'm gonna look that one up. Because it's a pretty important thing. Because we put extra um, space for it at the top. Thing that you always put there no matter what you do um, I guess it's for to make it a little bit more round so, okay so measure this one up Could do the uh, in this one. So a bit of modeling in I'm not the 
best with this one, but it's not too bad. It's just a slightly bit different. Because, I mean, <laughs> your legs are not squared and boxy. So we put these here to give it a little bit more. Um, yeah. How do you say that again? Google Translate! Google Translate is my savior. Or at least in, when it wants to work, of course. Sometimes it uh, doesn't. the shape oh, <laughs> I was looking for the word uh, form in English yeah it's a uh, it's the shape of it so that it, it has a little bit more shape than uh, a boxy straight line yes <laughs> finally figured it out how to speak Woo. <laughs> yeah that's uh, that part done for now so we go to the next thing this is where it gets more complicated because we are gonna draw so this is the the front of the pants now we're gonna draw uh, the back side of it and we're gonna draw that over it and it's gonna look like this these are the, the basic lines, like we did for this one. But it's going to get really, really confusing because you've got... Uh, already you've got a lot of uh, numbers and stuff, but now you're going to get more. Well, I mean, letters and numbers together. It's going to be uh, quite complicated. But we can do it, I believe in myself. And oh, yeah, we need to do that again, don't we? Oh well, I'll read it first before I move things again. Because it's a bit uh oh. So, hydrate, because it's a bit warm in here. Um, keeping my window closed because there's a lot of cars coming by. I don't know if you can hear those properly, but they go really fast, so they make a lot more no noise. But the cool thing is, um, uh, the people that basically do most of the things uh, for our little town, they decided to put uh, uh in our street that's like almost in front of our house. And I'm really really happy about it because that means they're gonna drive slower here because apparently <laughs> they drive so fast that <laughs> the gemeente basic said like this is dangerous so yeah we're gonna have a safer street soon well I don't know in a few months they're always a little bit slow But yeah, we're gonna have some cool drempels. I don't know the English word for it. Yes, finally, because like, it's like really, really dangerous here actually, because there's a lot of curves and they like to go really fast on those. Like, <laughs> some people uh, a little far over on the street, they like to race there, like it's a, one of those uh, racing tracks but I'm like <laughs> the speed limit is 30 like that you're going 60 <laughs> bro <laughs> that's a little too fast don't you think but yeah it's, um, 
it's a problem and I recognized it so I'm really glad about that because there I know there's a lot of old people living here but there are also a lot of uh, children living nearby and it's just dangerous for them to be on the streets most of the time because they drive so fast so yeah it'll be safer for the old and the young people um, okay I'm gonna read a few things again because it'll never stop read <laughs> never stop I'll always be reading with this <laughs> so now I'll be a little quiet <laughs> And let's read what we need to do. Um, a problem yeah a few fingers uh, 26 6.5 for me 1 fourth is Now I need my book. So I was like, hmm. I'm missing something, but that was later on. I was too fast. Thank you. 
sorry. centimeters so there will be a bit of a difference there but I chose this because uh, my figure has a little bit more uh, <laughs> on the back side than uh, on the front so from what I've just read in my book I need to do three centimeters because I'm Basically saying I got more butt than the other ones. <laughs> and yeah, that's just a few things they calculated and that's just how they draw it all. I don't really know the specifics of it, but yeah. That's just how we do. <laughs> and then... From... There was... B5, then from F3, this one to F4, I'm gonna do two centimeters. Okay. Um, maybe we'll do the centimeter. And then four. I mean, I guess that also looks like what we have on our reference. So this is gonna be. F5, then we need to connect those together. Oh, hey! Uh, my boss. Just say hello. It seems like you're concentrating here. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really concentrating because I'm uh, reading and uh, I'm mostly quiet when I read. But hi! Welcome to the stream. Um, I'm making the patterns for the for the shorts. And uh, this is what it's gonna look like when we're a step farther in with my drawing it here. And it's just a lot and a lot of reading. <laughs> but welcome. Yeah. Uh, where was I again? <laughs> And I'm mostly really concentrating because you need to think a lot and uh, my brain doesn't do that very well <laughs> most of the time so yeah uh, yes well, yes we're gonna connect F5 to F5 Yeah, because I've uh, already drawn the, the design for Fenty. It's a little bit more detailed, but this is what it's gonna look like. And I hope, I really hope it's gonna look amazing. Yes, um, <laughs> I am going to make the liar. And the cool thing is, I'm also gonna make the liar workable so that I can actually play songs on it and tune it 
so uh, that's also gonna be a really cool thing to figure out how I'm gonna do that. But yeah, how should they be in uh, uh, how, how should I actually call you, by the way? If there's an, a name that you prefer, and, and all your pronouns. Because I know you, but <laughs> from uh, other streams that I've watched, you're also a really, really great streamer. But I, I always forget uh, how to uh, say names and stuff like that. I didn't really do much with my book yet, so sorry about that. I uh, didn't really have the time yet to figure that out. Mm. Oh, well, thank you for being really excited. I'm also really, really excited about it. Oh. It's getting a bit hot here. Can I? Open my window. So sorry if the noise from outside uh, outside is a little bit louder. <laughs> no worries. Okay. But yeah, let's draw more lines because we like those. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, sorry about that. About your message. I'll uh, I'll figure it out once I've got the time. We. Uh, tonight I'll see but yes let's continue reading um. okay okay so that's this one. Pussy also she her okay okay thank you Roy Roy boss yes Roy boss I'm I'm in the she wanted to say the Dutch word for it Roy boss because <laughs> uh, that's the kind of tea I really like to drink and <laughs> yeah saying it in English is a bit weird for me but it's all right. I'll get used to it eventually. Um, but yeah, from F six, F seven. Okay. Uh, this part is gonna be a bit confusing. But I hope you enjoy your time with us. If you have feedback, always still full of that. Yeah. Well, we love the feedback because uh, this is my fifth stream now and uh, I'm also figuring out the the mic where I need to put it and the camera because <laughs> yeah yes rose tea is the best I also love it with uh, with a bit of honey in it but then it's perfect tea for me But yeah. Uh, okay, I'm uh, gonna concentrate on this part right here. So, bear with me. Mm. Okay, so that was twenty-six. Okay, 
Oops, no, not quite. Ooh, now I moved it again. Eh. Yes. There we go. This is F6 and this is F7. Uh. Ooh, yes, with honey. And to mint, yeah. I'd like lemon tea better, but that has a medical reason. Although, I like the taste of Rugles. The only tea I don't like is cherry or pineapple. This pineapple tea? <laughs> okay, didn't know that. But cherry sounds kind of nice. That's probably because I like cherries. <laughs> Ah, the more you know. <laughs> cool. Maybe I should try that too. I don't know if it's a good tea, but I don't uh, like to try new teas. But yeah, okay. The other thing uh, from F7 to F4 uh, is. F4 to F8. Okay, so I'm gonna measure this one and we're gonna copy that to the other side, basically. Yes. Uh, 20.5. It's gonna be F8. F8. Then, okay, let's go to the other. Okay, okay, so now for the other part, I'm gonna move it up again. <laughs> these lines out and that'll be two centimeters and then like this is gonna be d4 this will be d5 and then e4 and e5 that's not gonna be so do Ah, uh, well, it's all right. Yeah, I'm already glad that you're here and uh, listening as much as you can, of course. It's uh, always nice to have a few more people here to talk to, even if it's not much. I mean, I'm concentrating most of the time because uh, it's a, a bit complicated. But it's all right, it's all right. Okay. And B5. Then we're gonna connect these as well. why I need more space here because the line goes outwards. Let's move. I also got enough space at the top for it all. So I'm a tiny tiny bit. So this is B G6. Oh, 
always looks kind of fun when it's laid out like this. And then we have D5 to B6. Okay, that's gonna be uh, from D3 to B2. It's gonna be measure this one. I'm gonna put that also here, but minus. Uh, uh, half a centimeter. This one. Because he made it curved. So that's 31 and a half. So it'd be 31. And this is B6. We B6. Yeah. Um then Thailand minus one. Oh, okay. No, there was this one. I already did that. Let's put this one away. Um, but the boom from there minus okay, so I'm gonna line from here and we're gonna measure that. And this about um, sixty. I'll do 60.25 60 There's little millimeters <laughs> They're annoying Then this Okay Minus one centimeter Can't get them there This one, gonna do this one. Gonna make G7. That'll be uh, 60. Okay, I need to make this one a little longer. Uh, we're cutting it close with all the paper. Mm -hmm. Just gonna be our G7. Just a few centimeters left. Yeah. No, almost. I'm cutting it close. Could have made it a little bigger, then we wouldn't have too much of a problem over there. But it's all right. It's all right. Then we're done with this. This one, yeah. So we've uh, basically drawn this completely with all the, the dotted lines. That's what we've drawn. So now, oh no, we're gonna come to a part that I really don't like because <laughs> I believe, because since these uh, books are already really old, like the teachers at my school used these when they uh, did their um, uh, study for uh, fashion tailoring so they didn't really change all that much and I think one of the things that I don't like about these is that a few things aren't updated or they've uh, written it wrong because there's in one book uh, they said uh, right instead of left which is just confusing and 
just bad overall, but <laughs> I mean, they're like 30 or plus years old, these books. Yeah, it's just a, a little bad <laughs> in that part. Almost two hours already. Dang, we're going fast. Good. Make it, maybe. But yeah, let's continue. Um, it's gonna be. I'm gonna make a better line. This one, then. From G to G7, we're gonna do one centimeter from this. It'll be uh, G8. And that will be our new uh, points that we're gonna work to make. The thingy, uh, the lizard nerds. Snacks. It'll be uh, from G8 to G F6. Be our, uh, our back front line. This one, and then from F. Five to B six. It's gonna be line Ooh. Yes. This is why I like that I can draw. <laughs> Perfectly curved lines. I know it always gets me happy when it is drawn perfectly. This is gonna could it have been a little less, but I mean it's all right. It doesn't look too bad. Then the most annoying thing from G eight to G nine. most annoying one that so one fourth is 90 plus 3 is Somewhere over here. That's the annoying thing that they don't specifically say how where the G9 should be. Like all the other like uh, letters and stuff with the numbers, they specifically say where to put it with measurements. But G9 is one that's just so confusing. I still don't know. And the weird thing is. Even my teachers. The time is four o'clock p.m. Things like that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a little annoying. It really is. Um, Discord, if you remember, it's like, 
like I don't know when it started doing that, but just randomly just like hey, so that time of the day again. <laughs> Yeah, one day I'll figure out what it is, and unless someone knows uh, what, why it's doing that, I would love to know how to turn it off, because <laughs> oh, it's, it's not fun. So, I think what I'm gonna do is grab my measuring tape and measure from G5 to D2 and also that over here because I believe it should be the same but that's not explained in the books the same when you eventually sew it all together. It's just better that way. Okay, then um, the other thing. This one is just a bit curved. I got it now and I think I think this one is good enough. So let hope let, let's hope it is. Then we'll a little bit better. Because this one is straight and that one's a bit curved over here. For my head wasn't in the way. So this over here is a bit more curved and this one's uh, straight. Now I'm going to also measure it with this one because we need half of it for the chuchon. Yes, let's measure that. That's uh, 22. 22, yeah. That's about right. So that will be eleven. So here will be the other sizzle. It's a French word, so I don't. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but 
here. I don't really know the English word for it and Google Translate didn't really help me, so yeah. I still don't really know about that one. But anyway. How much was it again? A little bit curvy over here. Same with the other one, but that one doesn't really matter all that much. But yeah. Uh, then <laughs> we're technically done with drawing it. Oh, wait, I forgot to do this one. Whoopsie. That is this done with <laughs> we're done with the base of the, the pants and now I'm gonna measure some things to see if I uh, if it'll fit basically it's a uh, now I forgot the word of that one too uh, oh, it's mad. but it's basically to see if uh, I did everything right. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. So here is So that should be alright because um, it's for your thighs. Because this part here, that will be your thighs. And uh, the thickest part of my thighs was uh, 56 centimeters. And what I just measure measured was uh, 58. So it should be alright. I'll fit into it, hopefully. And that's why you we'll also will make a mock up for the shorts. Uh, the simplest version of it, of course, to see if everything fits right uh, when I also do the model of it. Because that's what we're gonna do now. But I think uh, what I'll do first is um, 
draw the most important lines in blue. So, because I'll uh, uh, trace over it eventually to draw in Fort Short. Um, so now what I need to do is, because I got the ideal uh, measurement uh, from the side of uh, my legs, it was going to be 40 centimeters. So I'm going to measure that one here, draw a line, and then make it straight, and that's how short they will be. And then I'll put all that in blue, and the underneath will also. Uh, no, I don't. I'm not going to do the undersides because I'm not going to use that part of the the pants, the pants, trousers. I still don't know which word to choose, <laughs> but the yeah, that's basically what we're gonna do now. So first, the front one. Here, just a few millimeters above the other one, but that's all right, as it is expected. Now, this one. and of course, there will also be. Um, I believe around seven centimeters of the, the band. It is so uh, like this place, the, this part of it will be uh, also run underneath here. And I'm, I think I'll be making it like seven centimeters. But I'll see on the word scale, of course. Measured it correctly. Ooh. Then we're gonna draw this the important lines in blue. Okay, come on, just a old tweet or pencil paste. What's the word for it? And then we're done with the base of it. Wow, and we've done it in just over two hours. Nice. I think that's uh, really well. And uh, the only thing after this that we have to draw is the, the waistband. But that's once done is really easily because I won't be making a really big one because you won't really see it all that much because uh, the, the corset thingy will go over it. But yeah. And that's uh, that's like <laughs> we've got like a few pages for the whole pants, and the only page of reading for the the waistband is just one. And we can uh, choose what kind of waistband we want. Uh, we could do uh, it in one piece or in two pieces. And the two pieces is mostly for the fancy um, like. Uh, trousers and stuff like that uh, so uh, the easiest one 
it's just easy to do is the the uh, one waistband and I'll think I'll do this one because it's not really an, an important detail and it's not really the fancy one that if you uh, get a little uh, bigger or your proportions grow a little different you can change it all that much because I don't think we'll need that so I'm gonna drink some more water again you should also drink some water keep yourself hydrated because that's really important because no dehydration here but yeah let's fine line it in blue I believe after that you also see the lines a little better so you can see a little bit more of what we've drawn today which is also really cool so, yeah. yeah hope you can see that a lot better Ooh. So we've come so far today. You know, that's pretty heckin' cool. Hmm? And line it went a little way, a little whack. Then the only important things to address are coats on here. Um, yeah, that's it for the base of the pants. Now, I think I'll draw the waistband over here on this side because we've got still a lot of paper left. Oh. 
and there's this one over here because we don't need that one anymore because it's kind of really big oh, I'm not straight line so I'm gonna sharpen my pencil again I'm gone and I'm back yeah, and waistband. I'll take the final one again. Um, I need uh, one third length. point here and then we'll draw the tiny length then the seventy six point five but we need to add three point five to it. So seventy six point five plus point five is eighty. Okay, well that's a big one. Alright, um, mm, mm, I think I'll change it a little bit, so it'll be easier to draw. Um, See dogs on That's okay. And this is sixty, so I need twenty more. And then it's easy. Mm, I'll make the waistband three centimeters, so we need to draw six centimeters. Oh wait, no. This one here. <laughs> yeah. Where's the music on? Is it still on? I wonder. Mm. Oh, connected. Maybe. Just looking at home. I hope you can all guys <laughs> I hope you guys can still hear all the music and stuff. Because 
but I myself can't really hear it. Oh, there we go. I can hear it faintly. Good. But, like, hmm, I can't hear it for a while. What happened? Just a little bit of it here. For. Okay, so um, big brain time. So we had altruism, empathy, and a half. Okay, so this will be for where the button will be, and. Uh, just some important stuff. I don't really know how to explain it at the moment, but yeah, then is would be Right. Um, okay, I need to my phone again and my calculator because I need a uh, six point five. I need half of it, so that's thirty-eight point twenty-five. Minus three plus nineteen. Mm. 
a little bigger than 19, but it's still with me right. And that's basically all of it for the, the waistband. Yeah. This will be oh, pretty few cool things in here. just a, a few important things for me to know but not really for you guys uh, how do you say that yeah it's basically this will be the little uh, snippets in the fabric itself at the end and you'll connect those to other important parts if that makes sense <laughs> Hmm, we'll do it behind. Mm, but I will draw the button. Which will be. Okay, so here the button will be over here. basic things done. I'll put this one back in my school book so that I don't get uh, confused like where where did it go? Where's one a piece of paper. <laughs> uh -oh. Let's hope it's not too important. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, I'll put this one back also. Back. Oh, okay. I'll uh, hopefully find it. If not, I guess I did that to myself. <sighs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna draw this one in blue, and then I think uh, we could start with um, drawing over all these patterns, and then cutting them out. Because we'll. Um, because the, the pants are uh, poofy uh, at the bottom, we'll need to uh, make sure that it has more fabric on the underside. And right now, with the patch that we have now, uh, it's not that. So I have to figure out how to do that because I don't have that uh, kind of uh, uh, pants in uh, my books. So <laughs> this will be all my own thinking from here on out on how I'm gonna do this. There's probably a good way to do this but uh, I didn't look it up yet or talk it over with anyone but I do think I've got some idea how I could do it 
because I already know how to make uh, sleeves uh, puffy on the other side or uh, at the um, uh, at the top where your shoulder is. So I'll just have to figure out how to do it with pants. Like it's it's not too difficult, but you just need to think a lot. There's, there it is. Yeah, we be thinking so much. My brain will be fried at the end of this. This one boom. Now that's also in blue. Oh. And then we're done with that. Yay! We're done. Woo. Now eventually we can fold this up, but we're not going to do that yet because I want to have this not folded. So let's see. Let me grab more paper. And I always need more paper. And my scissors. And that's why I also made it blue, because now you can see uh, the pattern uh, come out a lot better. So, and you won't get confused with other lines that you aren't using anymore. So yeah, we're gonna draw this over, and then I'll continue for 15 more minutes, I think. Go as far as I can. Because I do want to finish this one. I need to make a lot more than just this. Because this is just 
one piece of clothing. <laughs> Outfits. Which is also gonna be a bit uh, new for me because I've never really actually made a whole outfit before. All the things were separate when I was learning uh, to make them. So, yeah. Any new experiences, and I like them. Eventually we're gonna glue this one onto another piece of paper. Cool. 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 much because I'm also gonna make uh, some pictures of it but I still need to do for all the sketches but yeah. uh, cut these out for next time and I think tomorrow we'll continue the stream and we'll uh, finish <laughs> the, the patterns for uh, the shorts so now I've got a little bit more time to think of how I'm gonna make them poofy so that uh, next stream we can uh, immediately begin 
uh, I'm finishing it. than I would do at school, I believe. Because I don't know why, but for some reason when I <laughs> make patterns uh, at school, like probably also because it would have been the first time I would be making the pattern, and now I've already done it like uh, this is the fifth time, I believe. Because I've drawn uh, in real size, but also in uh, uh, smaller. So on a like uh, a piece of paper. Like the normal print paper that you have. I also drew it on those a few times because full of uh, projects and stuff that we needed to do, we uh, that we get grades for and stuff like that. We needed to draw a few different types of uh, trousers, like the really chic ones to the. I guess more boring ones. All cut out. These are the two rules that I need to keep in the rest. I'll just throw away because uh, I don't think I'll be making really small patterns on these. And I also don't really like this paper all that much because uh, I mean it's a nice thickness but uh, it's not that see through. And I know um, a shop that where I can buy better uh, pattern paper so yeah I'm not really attached to all this paper and of course the paper that I have at school is uh, the one I like the most because it's see-through but it's also thicker than the one that at the shop that I know that's a bit better but yeah that's all that done the next, uh, we're gonna do this with these two, but for now, <clears throat> let's end the stream. Mm -hmm. I guess this one. So yeah, uh, thank you all for uh, joining my stream. Yeah, we did a lot today, and I'm really, really happy on how far we got. I. Uh, 
yeah, I'm gonna watch the stream back to see uh, how well I did uh, on the warm that way. Backwards and all that. But yeah, I'm gonna see if uh, it was better than a few first streams of mine. And I think I'll be back tomorrow around the same time, so uh, around 2 3 pm uh, CST time. And yeah, we'll continue on uh, making the patterns for the shorts, and this time we're gonna draw in the the model that we have. So yeah. Um, should we raid into someone? Because I haven't done that before much, but I know that's a thing. <laughs> so if anyone has any recommendations, someone that's uh, also crafting or does uh, fun things that is friendly to everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh no, wait. I need to go to the different one. Uh, yes, <laughs> I'm clicking on the wrong things. But I'm gonna look see who I know is on is uh, still live. Not really anyone that I know, but if there's someone, I mean, I know someone, but if uh, you want to rate, uh, but if someone you want to rate, well, um, <laughs> all the people that I would like to rate aren't online right now, so if we want to rate uh, your person, we can do that, if uh, everyone else is uh, alright with that. Sea of Thieves, if that's correct. Well, we can uh, read it in that one. If uh, everyone is okay with that. Okay, let's try this again because uh, last time I don't know if I did it right. <laughs> but yeah. Um, let's go there, and uh, I'll see you all in the next stream. <laughs> mm. So yeah, um, that uh, will be the end of it, and I'll hopefully see you guys tomorrow. Bye!